Robots seem magical at times. They can move and act as if they have a life of their own. In movies like Star Wars, they seem almost human. But in reality, everything a robot does is programmed in advance by the engineers who created it. Chad Jenkins of Brown University explains that useful robots must be able to sense, plan, and act. We have to have robots that can sense and perceive the world, that can make decisions that will lead them to a goal, and then be able to act in a way that's going to perform that plan. By sensing, the robot takes in information from the world around it. They have to be able to perceive all of those things that we take for granted as humans, being able to recognize a variety of different objects. Once the robot has gathered information from its senses, it needs to analyze that data in its onboard computer and plan a response. And it does that in a way that's actually pretty familiar. The way that robots do that is through search. The robot will consider different sequences of actions and search through those. The same way that Google Maps will search for a route to get from A to B, instead of searching over map locations, you just keep iterating through different possible plans to get to one that actually will achieve the goal. Finally, once it's sensed the situation and planned a response, the robot needs to act. We essentially are sending commands to the motors of the robot, and the robot is executing that. Variations of this sense-plan-act paradigm power many modern robots. And this loop goes around over and over and over, and you're continually sensing, planning, and acting. Then hopefully, if you've done everything right, it should produce the kind of behavior that you want to see in the robot.